If you are a Salesforce developer appearing for an interview, these questions can be really helpful to you. So the question number one is, as soon as the data is committed and saved to the database, what is the first thing that happens? So within this overall transaction, there can be multiple things happening, right? The data is committed, there are custom validation, system validation, all these things runs. And after all the execution once, the data is successfully committed and saved to the database. The first thing that happens is send email works, okay? This means once the data is successfully saved to the record without any kind of issues, first thing that happens is if you are using any kind of send email method, the first thing will happen is that it will send email to the specified users or specified email IDs. So the first thing that happens is send email works in simple terms. Let's move on to the next question. <clears throat> what are the important parameters that needs to be considered while sharing the records using Apex sharing? Now, one thing you need to understand is that let's say you are going to create a custom object named as test. As soon as you create this custom, custom object, what happens is at the back end, automatically Salesforce creates one more object for it. That is test underscore share underscore underscore share. I think so. Okay. It automatically creates this share object as well. Now, if you want to do any kind of sharing, you can do the sharing using this as well. So there are basically two types of the, uh, there is one more type of the sharing that is called as sharing rules, right? We write criteria based sharing rules and owner based sharing. Rules. And one more type of the sharing is Apex sharing. Now, if you want to do the Apex sharing, this is where you use this test underscore underscore share object. Now the important parameters which needs to be considered while sharing the record is that parent ID. Okay. You need to provide the parent ID of this uh, on this job share object. Okay. So basically it defines whom we or let's say which record you want to share. So you provide the parent ID where which like in this parent ID you provide the record ID which you want to exactly share. Okay, so let's say if there is particular account that you need to share, you can just pass the ID of this account in this parent ID. Next is user or group ID defines whom you want to share the record with. <clears throat> and finally, there is something called as access level. Okay, which defines what kind of access do you want to give read, write or read, write or whatever it is. Okay, read, write, edit or something like that. Okay. So these are the three important parameters parent ID whom you which record you want to share user or group ID whom you want to share record with and next is an access level like read write what kind of access do you want to give. So these are three important parameters while we are performing the apex sharing. Let's move on to the next question. I am using custom metadata to make my code configurable some but somehow I want to update the metadata on certain condition. Can we do it using apex? So the overall gist of this question is to understand that can we make an update to the apex uh, or to the custom metadata using apex or not so the answer is yes you can do it okay so there is something called as you can enqueue these things okay but uh, in simple terms if you want to make an update to the custom metadata using apex you can do it okay so you can add certain conditions and make the update to the custom metadata so this was all about the interview questions that I have discussed in the previous short. If you found this video helpful, I request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel.